Chris, well, HobbyKing.com with another great product uh, we're bringing you today. So it's a Quantum uh, GPS with Compass. The other day we brought you the uh, Turner G uh, setup, which uh, uses the uh, U-Block Neo 6M. This one uses the Lee 6. Uh, now, the Lee 6 is a, a highly accurate GPS receiver. The other cool thing about it is it's updatable, upgradable uh, as new uh, software protocols and, and different satellites and everything. You can go into this particular receiver and update it as necessary. Uh, so it has a lot more features than the Neo. Neo is a great GPS for what it is. Uh, it does, uh, works uh, fantastic. But if you definitely want the best of the best, this is the Lee 6 module. Now, uh, it comes pre-configured at 38400 uh, baud rate at 5 hertz. So it's plug and play with the Hobby King Pilot Mega, as well as any compatible APM compatible style flight controller. Uh, it comes with about uh, 210 uh, millimeters in the lead. So it gives you the uh, option to get that nice and high away from any power distribution or magnetic fields from the motors. Anything that might disturb the compass itself. Other thing that it includes is the pedestal mount. Uh, it's variable in height, it just comes with the, uh, the fiberglass rod, it allows you to cut it down uh, to height. And uh, the other cool th nice feature, same as the uh, Turnergy, is that it is collapsible. If you thread that up and pop it down, it allows you to, to drop the uh, GPS for storage and uh, as well as transportation so that doesn't get knocked and skewed. You'll also notice on the, the top there it has an arrow for orientation for the uh, compass. Um, on the uh, Bottom has standard plugs, which is plug and play for most APM compatible and Hobby King Pilot Mega compatible boards, and the I2C for the uh, the compass itself. Uh, so the GPS and the compass, two separate lines. Now you don't have to use the compass if you just want to utilize the nice case that it comes with on the pedestal, and uh, and just utilize the GPS. Just plug in the GPS, and you can just uh, leave the compass unplugged and use the internal compass that's on the board itself. Now, if you want to uh, use the compass, uh, depending on if you have an older board, like a 2.5 or a 2.52, uh, what you need to do on the board, it has a little trace that allows you to cut and disable the onboard compass. And in the software, you just go ahead and enable uh, external compass. And what that does is allow it to use the I2C port, and it just plugs right in. So guys, anyway, this is the uh, new Quantum GPS with an integrated compass and pedestal mount. Uh, it's fantastic. It's up on the new items page. And as always, subscribe. We'll see you next time.